Uh, tonight, we're still keeping a close eye on several local races and propositions throughout San Diego County. In Escondido, the future of Measure E, a proposition that would raise the sales tax, has yet to be decided. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe has more on what the measure aims to do and what people think about it. Measure E would provide funding to maintain local city services, but the proposal comes at a time when inflation is hitting consumers hard. Days after the election, people in Escondido are still waiting to find out whether they'll be paying more in sales tax. Currently, voters are deadlocked on Measure E, with those against it at 50.06 percent and those for it at 49.94 percent, a difference of just 30 votes, with more votes to be counted. The measure would raise the sales tax from its current 7.75 percent to 8.5 percent. More taxes? I am not for more taxes. I've had enough taxes, especially the gas tax. Come on. How much more taxes can we pay? If passed, Measure E would provide funding to ensure the city has enough first responders, including police officers, firefighters, dispatchers, and paramedics. It would also go to help maintain infrastructure maintenance to public facilities, storm drains, streets, and sidewalks. I'm all about supporting police and firefighters and sidewalks, but I'm not about more taxes. There's plenty. California has a surplus of how many billions? Dig into the surplus. Give it to the firefighters, give it to the police officers, they deserve it. Don't take more money from me. I'm against it because until the city proves that they can spend the money we give them responsibly, I'm not going to support giving them more money. Jonathan Day says inflation is already bad enough and says the new proposal would only add to the problem. It's probably not the right time either, but again, I'm for it if you can prove that you can spend our money in a way that's going to benefit our community. The city of Escondido says the proposition was put on the ballot after asking nearly 2,000 people about which city services they deemed a priority. New vote numbers are expected to come in tomorrow. Rocia de la Fe, CBS 8.